I play John Tyree, uh, Special Forces, but it's not a war movie. I mean, this is essentially just two kids that fall in love, and it's the first love, and you can't get it right. And uh, it's gonna be painful, and it's gonna, you're gonna learn a lot. It's not gonna be, it's always fun, but it's definitely gonna be always brilliant and beautiful. So there's something else I wanna tell you. Right before everything went black, you wanna know the very last thing that entered my mind? You. Channing and I have a very similar set behavior. We don't take anything too seriously, but we're shooting a movie that's very heavy, all about love and romance, and, and it's, you know, pretty, it's a tearjerker. Yeah. And so we just like to play around. I mean, we, we there were hijinks and, you know, there's some trouble, but all in good, good fun. And I, I think he's my favorite co-star thus far. Wow. I haven't made that many movies, and I'm pretty young, but I gotta say, he's probably gonna, gonna stay put up there on the standards. He's so fun and yeah. he's so easygoing and you know he's not that hard to look at so <laughs> he has charm but sometimes charm can be a little bit mischievous yeah. and his is honest i mean i i was lucky enough to get to audition with a lot of girls and as soon as she came in it was just it was perfect like we were just like yep that's that's her i mean she's beautiful she's funny she's smart she's quirky she's witty i mean it's everything you would want in an all-american girl Surf? A little bit. I didn't surf actually before the movie. Okay. Uh, so I had to learn it, learn it for the film. You know, I kind of love it. It's really peaceful. The water is too cold out here, though, man. I can't <laughs> I can't do it out here. I'm kind of a wuss when it comes to being cold. I just can't do it. I'm from Florida, so things need to be like bath water for me to get in. That was it. Like I didn't practice beforehand, uh -huh. obviously. I was really scared. I was like, Are we really doing this tonight? It was cold. The sun had, was really going down at that point fast, and I was just like, I can't do this. And then they made me. So I went out in the wetsuit and I totally did it. Like I totally got up a little bit on the board. Yeah. And then everybody, you can't hear it of course because there's music behind it, but everybody was clapping for me and I felt so proud. You're just all that matters, okay? You're all that matters to me. And I'm trying to figure out what the right thing is to do and I don't know what that is. I don't have any freaking idea how to get there. He definitely takes care of himself. You know, as a warrior, as a soldier, he's got to be able to step up and do it when he needs to. How do you stay in such great shape? I don't really, you know, to be totally honest, like I, I fluctuate like crazy in between films and it's always like a mad dash to get back into that uh to, you know otherwise people be like i really let himself go you know and i don't think every character should be in shape really you know i can't wait to start doing different things that you can you can just be a normal guy you don't have to be in the gym and and I, but running running and a good diet that's all you need it actually doesn't matter where it is in the sky or where you are in the world if you hold your hand up and close one of your eyes it's never bigger than your thumb I wouldn't say I'm totally romantic, but I mean, I, I like romantic things. It's not that hard to be thoughtful. Like, you know, it, leave a note, say I love you, B buy something when it's not a holiday or a birthday. You know, it's not that hard, guys. Take a, take a note. You don't scare me, John. No? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Oh, you scare me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the notebook kind of set the bar for me, for Nicholas Barks. Um, I'd actually told him that I loved one of his books, and he's like, I didn't write that. <laughs> oh! And I was like, oh, who wrote that? And he's like, James Patterson. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. No, um, but your books are great. I mean, clearly, all being made in the movies. Um, no, he's got this thing. He's, he's very sentimental, and you can kind of pick a woman's brain, I think, and he can put romance on the page like no one else. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a little pressure with every movie, really. I mean, much less, you know, he kind of is, I don't know, you know, he, he's like Novocaine. It works every single time. You know, his movies make money, they're successful, they work, and it's always a little bit of pressure, but I think with great material like this, you know, it's it's not hard to do it well, and especially you have a great director like Lars Alstrom. I mean, I think they're just the one-two punch, you know. You have uh, Nicholas doing the story and Lasse, you know, kind of bringing it to, to life. I mean, it's just, it's a perfect, perfect combination.